episode where I've invited a homeless subscriber to my household because she has you know offered to do my hair in exchange of accommodation and let me just introduce you guys to her she is actually behind me right now Would you guys like to say hi to her? She's a bit shy. Say hi to the camera subscriber. First of all, I'm not even subscribed. Oh! She's a bit of a raging bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so I do apologize for the hostility. But I'm teaching her how to be. She's been on the streets living for a while now. So she's become kind of a savage. So, you know, we are teaching her how to become more friendly. So this is the wig that we'll be installing. <clears throat> oh, you know, introduce yourself to them. Introduce yourself. If you don't introduce yourself, you're not going to put your hands on it. Go ahead. and stuff like that because she is used to walking barefoot on the road so right now her foot but um you know even the greater can't stand a chance not sure how we'll get it back to its normal state so I'm going to put up a go for me for her and um you know you can sponsor her when you get the chance and I'm also going thrifting because um, she mentioned to me before that she couldn't afford to live so she had to, you know, sell all of her clothes and somehow they wound it up in the thrift store so we are going to retrieve her clothing from that store today Okay, if you want to hold this subscriber, you have one chance of it What? Because you have a bag <laughs> Be so for real right now. <laughs> I didn't even realize that this is a going in. You see what I'm saying about her being a raging? <laughs> She's unmatched. Don't judge my methods right now. Actually, quite hilarious because we're supposed to be in our home now, so you're not supposed to use it, yeah. But okay. We don't know which five obstacles take them there. Okay. 
right, okay. so hair is done, laid, if you will. And now we're going to be choosing an outfit because we are actually going to go on the road. All right, so I don't know what I'm going to wear, to be honest, because I'm kind of anxious. I'm not sure if we're going to make it to the two thrift stores that we have in mind, but if we go to the first one, then, you know, there's not much to worry about. But if we go to the one that's downtown, Oh Lord, that is mercy. <laughs> Whenever me go downtown with Janae, it's like me and I fight for my life and her life. And mainly her life. Because the man, they nah, they nah let up, bro. Me feel like a security guard. <laughs> the man, them just dung, dung our neck, dung our back. Jeez. Me have to check every angle to make sure that we're good. Me have this pants. Me sure you wanna see me in it before, but me feel like you wanna see me in it enough. Plus, I'm me and my clothes, so me have to wear it again. Okay? Okay? Are we straight? Are we? Are we straight? Are we straight? Please ignore the fact that me just did that. I got this matching crop top for me and Janine to wear because we need pictures together. Like, it I get really bad now. It I get out of hand. It I get disrespectful. It I get embarrassing now at this point. So, me and I find one top to wear and there is none in sight. So, it look like me have the top them. In my basket and not on the hangers. So me have to go go to the basket at once. And what hurts me the most is that most of my top them black. So when you see the black color in the basket, mega things so are the top them may look for, but it's not. So me have to go. Oh, let's just do it. Motherfucking where is it? Where the is it? I swear to God. You laughing, girl? You trying to laugh? This funny? When I like it, yes, I know. I don't know, but I me a put on so when I like it, can bite it. This is the outfit, you know, nice and calm and cool. But, anyways, I'll be back when we're on the road because we need to leave out now a tree something. So, we are going to leave out. So, be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Don't be suspicious. 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 Don't be Okay guys, so this is day two outfit of going or attempting to go thrifting. Um so me just have on a regular t-shirt and my cargoes and my bag that I got from Timo. Just something chill, you know. Um I have to go to the post office though and then me go to the thrift store so it's after three now so we need to head out like right now so i will talk to you guys when i'm at the thrift store i mean i have to make a quick stop at the post office so um we should we should be fine because i five o'clock then close and we really just a good day if we find some jars so it shouldn't take us a long time to do so um please excuse my bed that's the result of me getting <laughs> We are at Tutti Frutti. We leave for the thrifting again and it was a complete utter fail. So now we just go make an impulsive purchase because like what else is there to do? <laughs> you know, so yesterday one time we got the restaurant that was an impulsive purchase also and now here we are again. morning guys it's currently after 10 in the morning and um, we are going to be waxing our eyebrows <laughs> no <laughs> for everybody who watched my recent video on the noise say me try for wax under my armpits and it was uh well it was something I'll tell you that 
so now we are going to be attempting our eyebrows I don't know what's gotten into me but I've gotten very adventurous these past couple of days um we are going to be going to the zoo also later on today so stay tuned for that but if my eyebrows are missing from my face I will not be leaving this house until Christmas because by the time they then supposed to fully grow back plus tax right no I don't know if, if una can see very clearly but I have a lot of eyebrows like then grew from all the way in a my earline come down I even have a unibrow but um the unibrow not as bad because you, you can't really see it but if it like you're in my face yeah you can see it but if you're different far you can't see it so I guess that's a good thing since we're talking about eyebrows let me tell you a little story about what happened to me in a primary school that defined my whole eyebrow existence personally me feel like if it wasn't for somebody else a lot of us would not have insecurities because you look on yourself you know you're fine with yourself you're okay with yourself but then one day somebody will come to you and be like oh why your nose shape like that and then you're gonna look back on yourself and be like you didn't notice it before because you know look for find fault with yourself but you're gonna start look and say but why my nose looks so true and and my sister knows and looks so hard my mother or my father knows and looks so hard my friend knows and looks so why my look so and then you're gonna start feel some type of way about your nose so back to what i was saying about my eyebrows now in primary school this boy but then i didn't know that he had a crush on me i straight up thought that they were bullying me but that was his way of showing that he liked me it was just in a very messed up way every day i'm come to school him with daddy they like oh look on your uni bro oh look on your eyebrow you look like werewolf in a primary school my uni bro did more visible than now it was there it was very much there <laughs> like i could not see it from any distance so because me feel some type of way about it me go home and me start look at my eyebrow i then went home and took it upon myself to take one of the stick razor them where she have under your arm broke it broke out the blade and attempted to shave my eyebrow myself Let's just say that um, it didn't <laughs> it didn't end very well for me back then with my eyebrows. So really and truly, if you see something wrong with somebody, where them can't fix like me not talk about if you see matter in somebody yeah or you see boo boo in their nose. No. Cause you know easy one to uh, fix that. But if you see like them eye shape one type of way or if them eyebrow well no not everybody can fix their eyebrow because not everybody have wool up eyebrow where they can shape it or fix it any type of way so don't even point out that are them nose are them them lip don't ask them why their lips so big or you know unless they get fillers if they get fillers point out so their lip look bad because why are you getting fillers like just don't but yeah so the boy paint out this whole eyebrow thing for me and now from them time that till now i'm just very particular about my eyebrows um do you guys like my little mic by the way i think it's so cute <laughs> um jenny got it for me because you know my audio just seem really messed up this is the wax strip that we'll be using. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anna, do that. Okay, so this is how my eyebrows are looking. Me no want to touch them no more. I'm afraid. 
I prefer them scale like this. I'm use concealer and bring them down a little bit more. But them clean up pretty nicely. So it shouldn't be hard to do them now. Um so now I'm gonna get my lashes done. And now we are joined by gay rights activist Mr. Pepe Julio Ozima. Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. Lesbian? Gay? Homosexual? What should I call you? So now, Mr. Pepe Julio Ozima will be doing my lashes. Hello guys, welcome to my studio. Today, we'll be doing Miss Broke Bitch eyelashes. What style would you like today, Miss Broke Bitch? I would like a cat eye volume. Can you afford that? Not at the moment, no. <laughs> That's what I thought. Guys, I'm working for free. This is actually slavery. Just kidding. Me make so indentured servant. <laughs> <laughs> If we are sure properly, but um, imagine first of all, we see two different set apart, right? Miss girl over here, I'll come tell me, but say, my family. So, since she already give me two family already, you know, I have two family away, and she if she gets okay, if you even it out, me and she have the best set of family. We are them, me not mind being parrot, you know, car parrot pretty. And people love parrots, whether they chat too much or not. All right. I'm going to find CCR family. Make, make her not worry herself, man. I'm going to start her out nice and proper today so she will learn her lesson. I'm going to run her farm out. Anyways, look at the, the birdies. Is that you ate this? No, I'm not talking to eat nothing because I'm not here for morning. <laughs> Bro, every time when we have someone to go, we always when you from morning. Pumba, you can push me in a swing, Jenny. Pumba. <laughs> Why you push me in a dot? Guys, if you want to know what our age is, 
it's five and below like the store without foreign get it five below <laughs> bro yeah i better the fire <laughs> then he go and chat so that no funny oh me i ask you spy dog <laughs> no 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 <laughs> Forget this breakdown. We just, we just walk a little bit like nothing. Um. <laughs> nice view. Very scenic. An apex predator out in the wild. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I don't know. Go <laughs> on, Wooly. Guys, there's a whole playground here. And Ginny and I are going to master it. We don't give a fuck how old we are. <laughs> and I don't give a fuck how the adults in my look for we right now. We are going to be living our best life today. <laughs> and this is up next. I don't know what it is, but we're going to find out. I went. I went. Okay, so... Dora has the backpack and she has the map, right? I me ask her, Dora, where we are going next? Guess what Dora do? When you can guess? She kiss her teeth. Honestly, I do not like the way that this fucking iguana is looking at me, bro. So why? Why you looking at me like us? Why you ma look at me so? You want to put my finger in it? Free <laughs> <laughs> No, me not do it. Bro, just look how I look. Why am I look like? No, no, no. Yeah, the, mm -mm. Why is he looking at me? Maybe just go. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, didn't move though. <laughs> Bro, the lion, he might go get treatment, so they lock him up in nine then. And he just lay down there, and it reminds me so much of me every day when me lay down and watch yep. TikTok. Yup, every day. Me just a rat note in my bed. Life is <laughs> of us in our room. Me just a rat note in my bed and eat and sleep. <laughs> Look funny. You can't even see him, but him the right is so. Yeah. Feel better, bro. <laughs> Power to my people. I'll rule the jungle while you're relaxing, okay? You know that you did. Guys, <clears throat> Menon said that zebra is not the real zebra because the real zebra actually gone to Madagascar <laughs> with a penguin, them. <laughs> so, this one. A human beings dress up as zebra for trick we make we think say you know them still there but me know them gonna Madagascar. Then can't trick me. You cannot trick me. When I remember when we promised when they said I go find Jenny and our family. Well see her there? When I can see her. Yeah. That is her, bro. I think he's making eye contact with me. When I can't see him, see him the right this way, bottom. He's swimming away. I guess he realized he can't near me. <laughs> what? What the fuck? How was your Negan? I left her alone for two seconds, bro. Where is she? Do you see Janae? Oh. Me not in that area. Okay, water did I drop in I something? There with our big back, with our tough Bella, big back. I see it, they fear for the move. 
Where you have to say? You must say fake. Where you have to say? Throw one stone over the killer. Where this girl at them say for throw a fucking stone? Next thing when time look the crocodile come my, over here and come come near me. Why all of them more open? Kayla and I don't know if they didn't jump from this side. Yo, I don't like this over here. Probably it, it, it water shallow so they can't jump. But are your family? So you must know the height so they can't jump. I don't like, I don't appreciate this none at all. In now come. Why didn't just did they lay down and now move? I wonder if you approach me so I can run and scream like an idiot. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. What to do?